go, lift up your hands in this room and begin to give Him glory. Take us to deep places, God.
love you want to go, lift up your hands in this room and begin to give him glory. Take us to deep places, God. Good morning, Jumpstart family. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you all. It's good to be here in the land of the living. I am honored by God to be in his presence all this morning. If you could do me a favor, and I hardly ever ask this, but if you could do me a favor and go ahead and tag, good morning, Sister Tammy. Good to see you. Uh, if you could tag about three people, and I want to be clear who you need to tag, you need to tag the people that, um, good morning, Sister Dees, it's good to see you. Good morning, Courtney. Tag those people who they come, who, who comes to you and they want to unload and they already know what God has for them. Tag them. Tag the people who, who whining and complaining about their life. I need you to tag them. Where are the intercessors? 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 If you in, chime in. I want to see you. I need to see your face. It's 6.59. We got a little bit of time. We need to get the numbers up, and we need to get folks praying. Good morning, Brother Christopher. It's good to see you. It's good to see y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Rosalind. Good morning, Doris. Good morning, the intercessors. Y'all don't need to be quiet. I need y'all on board today, 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 today. Hey, Joe, good to see you. All right, we're going to get started. Yeah, where are the intercessors? The ones that show up on Sunday, but you don't see, you don't see them no more until the next Sunday. Come on, where they at? Good morning, Sonika. Good morning, baby. Good to see you. It's good to see you all. Thank you, Carolyn, for getting me straight. Good to see you, Sister Jen. That's right. I need to see y'all. I need to see y'all presence because this attack, <laughs> this attack this morning, that was so disrespectful. This, this attack was disrespectful this morning. But we're going to pray because God has something to say. It's good to see you, Tremaine. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Patty. Um. Patty K, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Kwana. Kiana, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Cherie. It's good to see you, Precious. All right. It's good to see you, Brother Andre. Yes, that's right. Get the numbers up. Good morning, Tadessa. Ta-da. It's good to see you. It's good to see y'all. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Keep coming. It's good to see you, Cecily. It's good to see you, baby. I need our prayers going to her name is Cecily Roach. 
she's online now and I need prayers directed to her. This is a nine one one. I need prayers directed to her. That's right. Y'all doing good. It's good to see you, Andrea. It's good to see you, Dontavius. It's good to see you, Erica. That's right. Come on, come on in. So the Lord has been dealing with me. Uh, and I always say, I always take you in first. I never, I'm never the one to pass it on. Uh, y'all forgive my uh computer for chiming if you all hear it. Uh, I'll never pass it on. I'll always give you what God has given me, and then I'll release it to the people. It is, it is uh important and it's imperative that we understand what season we're in it's very important for us to understand where we are in God it's important for us to understand uh God has need of us and as uh sister Andrea was praying it's you <laughs> it's nobody else it's you it's you God is after you um I have a coach that works with me um, she is helping me to strengthen myself at the age that I am at. I can't just jump up like I used to jump up and I go and I'm good for the day. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, at my age where I am now, things that I need to do is important. It's important for me to be strengthened. It's important for my health to be well. It's important for me to take care of myself. Uh, so we work out and as we work out, um, the workout is, I don't think it's a workout that wor worries me so bad as much as it is the after effects of the workout. With the after effects of workout, I told her, I said, it's sometimes, and when I first started, I said, this is so hard. I said, this is, I said, I don't think it's the workout. I thank God for it. You know, I was in the, in my whining mode. I thank God for my workout, but it's just, you know, after I get through working out, you know, I can't gather myself. I, 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 I'm tired. I'm sore. You know, I just, I just kept whining and whining and whining. Not that I wanted to get out, but it was just the after effects of the workout. She said, Mrs. Rogers, she said, it's important for you to stretch. Y'all, when she told me that, the downloads just started coming to me. She said, the workout is good, but you have to stretch. You have to stretch the next days after your workout. You're not going to like it. You're not, it's going to, it's not going to feel good to you, but you got to stretch. Type up on the screen, all of you all that are up here, it's time to stretch. <laughs> it's time to stretch. It's just time to stretch. Um, you're not being tried. You're not being tested, but you don't want to stretch. Come on, type it up there in the chat. I need to see y'all on Zoom. Type it up there. It's time to stretch. You've been comfortable. You've been comfortable for so long that it's it's where you are now. It's it's all oh, it's and and you've made it. You've made it, Miss Kelly. Where it's it's the place to be. But it's not the place to be because God has need of you. It's time to stretch. You in your feelings, you in your emotions. It's because where the next level where you need to go, Brother Christopher, you're not willing to go. You're willing to go through, but you're not willing to be stretched. Remember last year, a couple of years ago, I couldn't even lift my arm. Now my arm is like this. I can take it to the back. Even after surgery, I could take it to the back. But I learned how to stretch under control. Stretch, stretch under control. Pull your arm back. Stretch under control. We're not stretching. And that's what God is calling for today. You're in your way. You are in your way. You're the problem. But God has need of you. Good morning, Angelia. It's good to see you, baby. Thank you for chiming in. And I need you to send those prayers to me. Just go on and send them to me. Send them to me. Uh, we're going to go to a scripture and we're going, and then we're going to go into prayer. It's James 1, verse 2 through 4, and it's the NIV version. Consider it pure joy, 
my brothers and sisters, whenever you have faced trials of, of many kinds, because you know that you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. <laughs> Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing, lacking anything. It's time to stretch. Y'all ready? Let's go. Father, in the name of Jesus, we understand that stretching is to it's a it's an element of being uh, fully extended. We understand um it's not a hold up, but there is more that you have need of concerning us. Andabokoya, andabasaya. Hallelujah, God, we stand to be stretched today. And we love you today. God, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise. God, we bless your name for who you are. You are God. You are strength. You're our redeemer. You're our way maker. You're our healer. God, you've delivered us time after time after time again. You answered prayers. God, and we love you for it. We thank you for being good. We thank you for being a good, good father. We thank you for never leaving us. We thank you for never leaving us alone. We thank you, oh God, for what we're facing now in the name of Jesus. God, we give you the glory. We thank you for the victory. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. God, we lift you up as never before. You've been there. You've been there when nobody else was there. Oh, God, you've seen us, God, at our worst, and you've seen us at our best. And today we give you glory. Come on, open up your mouth and tell God something good that he has done for you. Tell him that he's a good, good father. Tell him he's a way out of no way. He's our help. He's our strength. He is our provider. He is our redeemer. He is our deliverer. Deliverer, God, and we bless you for it now. In the name of Jesus, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give him some glory. Before you ask for anything, give him glory. Before you want anything, give him glory. Before you repent, give him glory. Give him glory for being in your life. Give him glory for being in your strength. Give him glory for touching your mind and touching your heart. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. You are God that has never lost a battle and you never will. You won't lose. Come on, say something to God. Hallelujah. I don't care where you are. Say something to God. We need God today. We need him as never before. We need him in our life. God, we need you today in the name of Jesus. We need you to be our strength. We need you to be our power. We need you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, without you, we have no anointing. Without you, we have no power. Without you, we have no being. God, we need you today. Come on, put it up there. I need you. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm going to walk this one out. I need you. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my finances. I need you over my children. I need you in my home. I need you, oh God. I need you to take the lead, oh God. I've been leading long enough. Come on, I've been in the way too long. I give my mind to you, oh God. I give my heart to you, oh God. I need to be stretched. I've been comfortable where I am. It's comfortable to be where you are, but that's not the place where you need to be. I need you, oh God. I need you in my life. Hallelujah. I stopped praying because I felt like I had it all and I had it all together. But today, I need you, oh God. I need you like the dew needs to rain. I need you. 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 Come on. I need you, God. I need you, oh God. I need you before I have the next drink. I need you, oh God, before I make the next decision. I need you, oh God, before I take the next pill. I need you, oh God, because I make the wrong decision. I need you. I need you. I made a mess of my life. I need you. I'm by myself. 
Hey, God, I need you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, tell God, I need you. Hallelujah. You're stretching me, oh God, and we know it. Hallelujah. You're stretching me, oh God. You're waking me up, oh God. And even when you wake me up, I go back to sleep. I won't pray. Hallelujah. Because I'm comfortable where I am. Things are good. God told us to put away some things that we won't do it. So God is bringing a stretch. God is bringing a stretch. God is stretching us. God is stretching you. Hallelujah. Monica, God is stretching you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We move from faith to faith. We move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. But we want to stay where we are because it's comfortable. We want to stay where we are. We don't want to give no more to God. But God is required more. Yeah, boy. God is requiring more. He's requiring more. He's requiring more because he has need of you in the name of Jesus. God, we glorify you today. And we come today, oh God, to confess that it's us. I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's me. Come on, it's me. It's me that you've been looking for. I'm Jonah. I've been running. Handio Shaya. Yes, Lord. I'm in my way. Every time God says to be friendly, we back up and we withdraw because we've been hurt for so long that we don't know what being friendly is. We're just common with people. We don't give no more and we don't extend no more. But God is putting things in our way. So so we can stretch. Come on, stretch now in the name of Jesus. Come on, not my will, but your will be done. I'm not a carbon copy. Come on, put it out there. I'm not a carbon copy of somebody else. I'm an original. I'm not a carbon copy of another person or another ministry or another preacher or another prophet. I I am an original of you. I was shaped in your image. God, you have need of me because there are people, hallelujah, that someone may never touch and you created me. Lord, I bless you. And Lord, today, I give you me. I give you me, I give you me, I give you me. Come on, I'm an original. Come on, I'm not, I'm not one of them uh, carbon copies. I'm not one of them throwbacks. Hallelujah, I'm the original. You made me, you created me who I am. I hid my gift for so long. Come on, I hid it for so long. Oh God, but today, I'm before you next. And in other shame. It's me, God. It's me that's standing in the need of prayer. Oh, God, you push me and I push back. You push me and I push back. Oh, God. But you created an atmosphere today that I got to stretch under my side. You can't go left and you can't go back and you can't go forward. You got to go up. I'm on my side. God said, Come up. God God said, grow up. God said, stretch. Come on, stretch yourself. Hallelujah. Stretch yourself. Allow God to use you in ways that he's never used you before. Allow God to speak through you like he's never spoke to you before. It's easy to get an attitude. It's easy to walk away, but that's not the answer. God said, I'm stretching you. God said, I'm stretching you that even though they did you wrong, you still got to step up to the plate. Have a fire. Yeah, that'll call ya. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
we found ourselves in places that God told us not to be, and we went anyway. And God still forgave us, but God is not allowing us to be comfortable where we are. God said, I'm stretching you. I'm stretching you. I'm waking you up, and I need you to wake up. I need you to get up. I need you to sound the alarm. God put you in places and positions that no one will ever get a chance. But he's saying, I'm putting you here for a reason. He said, I put you here for a reason. Can you prophesy to the preacher? Can you prophesy to the evangelist? Can you prophesy to the bishop? Can you open up your mouth? And can you give God, give out what God has given you? He said, I called you about Sunday. Oh, yes, Lord. He said, I called you. Hallelujah. He said, I called you and you heard me. He had my Sunday. But because you're comfortable where you are, it's easy to mix in. It's easy to blend in. Hallelujah. God said, I put you in front of important people to speak for me. Hallelujah. And you resisted. He said, I give you chance upon chance, but you resisted. You won't pray. You won't stay. You won't fast and you're not going to last. But God said today, I'm stretching you. I'm stretching you. Come on, I'm stretching you, Miss Hill. I'm stretching you, Angelina. There are people you are meeting, Angelina, that God has a word in your mouth. It's in your belly. And you keep missing the opportunity. Don't miss it. Don't you miss it. Hallelujah. We're turning our nose up. Hallelujah to people that we feel like are beneath us. But God said today, I'm stretching you because if you don't speak for me, you'll be just like them. My grace will not always strive with man. You've got to speak it. So today, oh God, we need you to uproot. Hallelujah. We need you to tear down and we need to destroy. We ask you to destroy every ungodly way that's about us. Every spirit of confusion, every spirit of fear and inconsistency. Hallelujah. We curse and we bind. Hallelujah. And we uproot the spirit of soulfulness and laziness. And we pull up the spirit of depression. Hallelujah. We uproot the spirit of anxiety and faithlessness. Hallelujah. Messiah. Unforgiveness. We uprooted. I tied I'm going to stay right there. Glory Unforgiveness. You need God. And you think you are right. But you're stuck. Because you won't forgive. So we uproot. We dismantle. And we destroy unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. Everywhere you go looks the same because you didn't forgive back then. So you're looking to be offended. You're looking to be hurt. You're looking to be wounded. You're looking to be looked over. But today, Hamashaya, God said, forgive. They're not like them. Forgive. Uproot it. Pull it up. Pull it out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against, we uproot, and we tear down, and we demolish, and we destroy iniquity that's in our life. Iniquity. Hallelujah. It was a sin. Now it's iniquity. I call it iniquity because you keep on doing the same thing and you're comfortable in it. I never call you to he that know it to do good and to do right to him that's a sin. You try to equate the word of God and justify your actions. God said, no, I want to stretch you. But you got iniquity in your heart. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Uproot the spirit of control. It's 
witchcraft, y'all. You operating under witchcraft. You don't see it? I'm outside. You got to take control of everything. If you can't control it, then you don't want to be in it. The devil is a liar. I bind the spirit of witchcraft that the saints are operating under now. In the name of Jesus, I'm all shy. let God be God. Let God do the work. Let God heal your body. Let God heal your mind. In the name of Jesus, let him heal you. Let him heal you. Let him heal you. It's witchcraft, y'all. You operating under witchcraft. Hallelujah. You don't want to have the spirit of a sorcerer. If you're not operating, hallelujah, in your gear as a prophet, hallelujah, hallelujah. You read numbers and you read this and you read huh? hallelujah, strong spirit of witchcraft. If I don't. God said, call it like it is. In the name of Jesus, we denounce it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uproot our will. Uproot our will. Uproot our will. And let your will be done in the name of Jesus. I come against that running spirit. Mm hmm I come against that running spirit. Hallelujah. That restless demon. That every time God begins to use you, you want to run because you want to do it your way. It's not your way. It's God's way. I bind that wicked spirit. I bind that running demon now in the name of Jesus. Uproot it. Pull it up and tear it down in the name of Jesus. God wants to use you. God wants to stretch you. Hallelujah. If it's not coming out of your mouth, then it's not God. That's a devil's lie. God's got people that you don't even know about. God's got prophets that ain't even said they were prophets. God opened up the office for everybody and anybody. Lottie Dottie and everybody that will yield to the spirit of the Lord. God will speak to a jackass. He will let you know that I'll use anything. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't have the last word and you won't get the last say. God said, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself. Submit to the Lord in the name of Jesus. You're trying to run with crowds. Hallelujah. And God is trying to single you out. In the name of Jesus. But today, oh God, as we end this prayer, oh God, and as you have uprooted things, even as we speak, hallelujah, the spirit of heaviness is being released off of your life. The spirit of heaviness and worry is released off of your life. You're where you are because God. God wants to stretch you. You said, I can't move to the left and neither can I move to the right. But God is trying to stretch you and he wants you to go up. God said, come on up now in the name of Jesus. Come on up so I can speak to you. Come on up now so I can tell you the words. Come on up so I can show you secrets now in the name of Jesus. God, I glorify you. Your people understand where they are. Now open them up now in in the name of Jesus and strengthen them as never before. Strengthen them to walk this way. Strengthen them to go to the next journey. Strengthen them, oh God, to open up their mouth. Strengthen them now in the name of Jesus. Your blessings will come when you stretch. Your blessings will come when you obey. Your blessings will come when you submit. Your blessings will come when you hear the voice of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be glorified. He he be glorified. Come on, stretch now. You should feel better now. Well, that's not the way it should be. Well, who are you to tell God? That's the way it should be. If you submit yourself under the power of God, if you submit yourself, your problem is you don't want to submit. Your problem is you don't want to 
obey. Your problem is you don't want to live holy, but God said live holy, be instant in seed and be instant out of seed. God said, I got to stretch you because I have need of you. I got something for you to say. I got something for you to do. Hallelujah. Be signed shall follow them that believe. I believe that God opened doors. I believe he's a mind regulator. I believe he's a heart fixer. I believe he's a way maker. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe he's a healer. I believe it, Sicily. I believe it now. In the name of Jada, I believe it now. I believe it now. Take back your mind. Take back your anointing. Take back your strength. Take back your hell. Wow. You are getting it. God is giving you download. He's giving you strategy in the name of Jesus. It's not your will. It's not your way. You will not be a sorcerer. You will not be a witch. You will not cast spells. You will not rebel, but you will submit to the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I believe, I believe, I believe, Monica, in the Messiah, eyes have not seen, neither ears have heard, neither is they enter into the hearts of men, all the good things that God has prepared for enduring peace. I believe that once you hit your land, then you're about to go up, but you got to stretch. Handi Oshanabakaya. In the name of Jesus. It's time out. Let it go. It's time out for us being in the presence of the Lord and we walk away like God has done nothing for us. You won't disrespect the anointing of God. You will not. You will not. God will lock everything up. God will lock everything up. You get mad, you walk away. You get mad and you display your attitude. Nobody cares. Understand me, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You are in first offense and your offense is with God because God ordained your test. God ordained your trials. Who are you to get upset with God because it's not going your way? This is not Burger King. Say this ain't Burger King, baby. God wants to stretch you, and God will keep allowing things, the same test, to come into your life. And God will turn it into an arachidon until you stretch. Endure hardness as a good soldier in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you. God, we bless you. We love you. We thank you. We give you the glory. Today, we take the limits off. Today, we take the limits off. We Today, we're stretching our faith. Today, we're stretching our obedience. Today. Hallelujah, we're believing God for greater things. If you just believe in God to get you through to the next paycheck, you're not believing God for nothing. Because it, when you when you signed on to God, he said he would supply all your needs. What you looking for? No longer, hallelujah, will we allow doubt to be a part of our life. No longer will we stand where we are and stay where we are. And even when people are wrong about you, we display such an awful spirit that it's not of God. You go back to the beginning. You go back to the beginning because God's kind of stretch you. Don't allow it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And we will do good all the days of our life. God, we love you. We bless you. We give you the glory for each and every soul that is on this line today. Today, today, you have spoken to the hearts of your people. Today, you have delivered on this line. Today, you have enlightened the load. Today, you have lifted the burden today because we understand that you know what you're doing and you make no mistakes. Stretch us, oh God, so we can go up. So we can be used by you. And there will be no retaliation. 
There won't be no backlash. And if it is, we don't care because it's under the blood in the name of Jesus. God, we love you and we thank you. We give you the glory. It is in Jesus name. It is in Jesus name. Somebody type up on the screen. Amen. 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 I need you to sow a seed. I need you to sow a seed and I want you to put on the seed. Lord, stretch me. Lord, stretch me. Come on. Sow the seed. Sow it and put it on there. Lord, stretch me. If you need to know the ways to sow a seed, put it up on the screen. They have it on all platforms. Put it on the screen. Sow your seed. You have gone through enough. And some of you all haven't gone through anything because you won't allow God to stretch you. You got to go back in the fire. There is not a scripture that tells you that Shadrach, Meshach, nor the Abednego <laughs> came out of the fire. What you read in context is we thought we put three people up there, but we see somebody else. <laughs> Who is this third man? God is with you in your stretch. He's with you in your stretch, Erica. He's with you. God is with you. God is with you, Miss Dina. God is with you, Joe. God is with you. Sow a seed. Sow a seed for your stretch. We love you guys with the love of God. We thank God for you. I knew I was going to be long. Thank God for you, Sister Kim Hudson. It's good to see you always. It's good to see you. We thank God for you all. We love you with the love of God. Stay in the will of God and allow God, allow God to do what he's going to do in your life. God can do it. If you can stand to be stretched, you, you will be blessed. And you're looking for your blessings, but you won't stretch. You don't want to be used by God. And it's on your terms. God doesn't work like that. God doesn't work like that. Stretch me, God. You can cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. I've cried in many tears. But even in my stretching, I see God's hand. And when I want to go this route, God said, no, no. No, 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 no. This is not the way. That is for my glory. You don't get the chance to get the glory. God gets the glory out of this. You stay humble before the Lord. And as he stretch you, every test that you go through, as he stretch you, you will understand why. As God stretches you, he will begin to reveal more to you. Some of us are still on the outer courts of religion. We're in religion. That's even bad. And we're on the outer courts. But the inner courts, what we want to be is not the foolishness because all the stuff that you can do on the outer courts, you can't do it on the other side. You can't do it in the inner courts because it's a sacred place. We have lost the sacredness of God. We do anything. We say anything. We, God even speaks to us and we tell God, no, we tell him, no, who are you to tell God? No. Who are you to say what I'm not going to do? Who are you to keep operating in the spirit of iniquity? And don't think God is going to get you. God's going to get you. Because this is past sin. This is iniquity. You good where you are. And you justify what you're doing. God wants to stretch you. So you can see that he is a provider. So you can see that he's a healer so you can understand he's a way maker. So what they walked out of your life, he, they walked out your life. So God can give you more people to be around us just like him. I want to be like God. That's what we say until he turns up the fire. Lord, stretch me. I love you guys with the love of God. You all have a great day. The only thing that I have is tonight. We'll be online. I believe it's tonight. We'll be online, uh, hub, the hub where community and ministry meets 
tonight. I want you to come at seven o'clock. We always have something good to give to the, the people of God. We can pray, but we, we need you to have knowledge too. We need you to have knowledge. I love you guys with the love of God. I want you all to lean your prayers towards Cecily Roach. That's on <clears throat> that's online. We need a miracle from God and we're believing God to do exactly what he said that he would do because he's not finished with her. He's not finished with her. He's not finished with her. Sunday morning, if you don't have a place to worship, 2510 Build America Drive, Hampton, Virginia is the place to be. Thank you all for everybody that is sowing. Thank you all for those that are sowing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sow on there. I need to be stretched. I got to stretch. This is for my stretch. Whatever you want to call it. If you where you are, you're the same place you were 30 days ago. You're not being stretched. And, and I'm not even going to go back no further. But God needs to stretch us. God wants to stretch us because he has need of us. And I'm telling you, the last time God gave me a good old stretching, I, my life was in jeopardy. I was supposed to die, but he let me live. He let me live. And every time he stretched me, there was another level. Even in my stretching now, God has performed a miracle, had has blown my mind. And I believe God for more. You got to believe God for the same thing, same thing, if not greater. God, I love you. I bless God for you. Thank you all so much for joining us. I'll see y'all Monday on Jumpstart. God bless you.